This is how you will make the most money using your cargo van. And no, it's not OTR, so you don't have to go far. It's DK and it's time for us to get to this Monday. And unfortunately today, it ain't Sunday, but we're gonna have us a fun day. Now, if you are not subscribed, I would advise that you smash that subscribe button because we will be doing a $1,000 giveaway when we get to 100,000 subscribers. And in order to earn your chance to win some of them dividends, you must be subscribed, but it's time for us to slide. Now, we got our first pickup. Hopefully we have no hiccups. We are going to Home Depot. We are picking up 20 bags of mulch. We're gonna drive three miles for $44.85. It's time for us to pick up the prize. Let's go. Home Depot, we here, baby. We here at my favorite store. We pulled up, now it's time for us to skull. Hopefully my guy Sam here so we can get some old dough. Sam, what's going on with you, boss? I got an order finally. It's been a while. Um, WM 720748. How you been? I've been great. I can't complain. Yep. Me either, honestly. I mean, this I right mean, here, do you want some help? I mean, if you want to, whatever yeah, you want to do. You. Get you some exercise oh, in. Yeah. The other guy, he moved tonight or something? Which one? The black dude that used to be here with y'all. Oh, uh, he, yeah, usually he's the night manager, but I haven't seen him in a while. For real? Honestly, yeah. Dang. Wait a minute. I think he wanted to do a different position, so. Oh, he's doing other stuff. So he's still work at the store or he works for you? Yeah, he works at the store just, I think, strictly overnight. So he'll leave, like, before we even come here. Oh, like, like, okay. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully he really makes more money. That's, That's all I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. I think he did, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta do something you don't wanna do. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Appreciate you, boss. Yep, I'll you see have you a good later. one. Thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Just like that, we are here to drop off time out they socks off. I'm about to put everything right here by this tree and we're about to get this cheese. Let's get it. Last one. <coughs> Just like that, we got the job done. These joints is open. Look at them joints. They got big holes in these joints. Now we got to step back in with the photo. You already know those. Smack. We gone. Order number two. We kicking it like uh, Kung Fu. We cooking it like Kung Fu. Now. We are going to sun run. We have us a little fun, son. About to get these funds uh, and run. We are picking up 10 panels. The app that I'm using right now is called Dispatch. The app that I used on the first order was called Rody, Rody, Rody with a dab wrench. It's called Rody. Go out there and get your pockets on Swole G. We are going to sun run. We are picking up 10 panels. We're going to drive 28 miles for $76.75. Guess what? We're about to pick up the prize and drive. Let's go. And just like that, my guy about to pull up so we can. Uh, Pull up and run it up, baby. We're trying to get these bucks. Appreciate you, boss. You have a good one. We have a problem. This is a major problem. I Look, I think I jinxed us, man. I said we was gonna have us some fun today, but guess what? This is not fun. So I get everything loaded up in the van. We ride them around and we get them. We get like three or four miles down the road. And guess what? They canceled the order on us. So now we have to return everything back to someone. I did notice this though. When I was at the pickup location, the app was kind of like tweaking. Like I was like sliding to say I'm leaving and it kept on saying not found, not found. So I turned my phone off and turned it back on. And then when I turned it back on, guess what? We, we not about to get it on. We're going back to Sun Run to return these panels. I'm gonna show you on the animal. So from the order being canceled, we're only gonna receive $25.20. Definitely not enough money to pay the rent. We riding around the bins with no tent. Let's go. You know why they cancel? You have no idea. They don't tell us that. Oh, for real? Tell certain people that's uh, oh, at the job or something, okay. Either that or they'll around and tell like my higher ups. Oh, okay. All right, appreciate you, boss. You have a good one. Order number three, we're about to pull up and get some of this cheese. We're about to do something we haven't done in a while, and that is Instacart. We're about to do Instacart now. We are shopping for three people, we are picking up 22 items. 
56 units. We are getting paid heavy pay for this one because, hey, this stuff is going to be heavy. We got to pick up seven cases of water and 12 things of oil. So this is going to be critical. And I, and I ain't talking about no little uh, oil like that. I'm talking about these big jugs of oil that weighs 35 pounds each. Now, we're going to drive 7.4 miles for 7506 we about to pull up and get in the mix. Let's go. We done, baby. So it took us about 12 to 15 minutes to get all this stuff. So all of this stuff right here, tissue, water, pop, all this other stuff, and this bag right here, all of that is one order. And then we have order number two right here. These three items right here. And then we got order number three. I'm trying to pull up and get these cheese. Just so you guys know, look, these joints weigh 35 pounds a piece. Look, but we about to pull up and get these bucks. Hey, I love running it up. Let's go. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. You guys have a good one. Guess what? <clears throat> but at first order, we got an extra $10. Time for us to pull up to order number two so we can pop our collar. Let's go. Hello. Hi. Got it? Yeah. All right. You have a good one. Hello. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Last one. All righty, I'm good to go. Thank you, you guys. Have a good one. Order number four. We about to pull up and uh, run up some of this dough. This is on Dolly. 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 This is on the Dolly app. We about to run up this money. No cap. We are picking up a cabinet. Now, this this the thing though, right, about this cabinet. There is no pictures on a Dolly app of this cabinet. But I will say this. It does say it's going from one garage to another garage. So I think it's gonna be pretty sweet. We're gonna pick up that. We're gonna drive 22.6 miles for one four oh. You about to pull up and uh, let's go, let's go. We are here at the pickup and they got all these cars right here. So I don't know what we supposed to do, baby. They whipped up. It said we supposed to pick it up out the garage too. So let's see what happens. A few moments later. The piece that's going, uh, the pieces that are going out are, um, this is one stop, you know, one piece right here. Okay. Okay, so nine, you know, nine foot by whatever, 30. <clears throat> Y'all see it, baby. I want to tell you right now, this was not a smart idea. This joint is huge, baby. Got some pieces over here, pieces right here too. Guess what? That garage was out of control, but we're about to pull up to the house so we can get our pockets on swole. Let's go. This is it. Shoes, look how tall that joint is. Critical. So, as you guys just saw, that did not go how I thought it was gonna go. It was absolutely critical. First off, when we get to the first pickup, that dude had all that stuff in the garage that it was so cluttered in there that when we was lifting up the, the cabinet, the dude could not get out. Like he couldn't maneuver it out. He had to like sit the cabinet on his knees like this. And then we had to lift it up and put it on the cart. And then I had to lift it up for him. I had to go on the other side, lift it up for him. And then he had to squeeze from under that joint. It was critical. He should not have had all that stuff in there. I, I thought this was gonna be sweet. I thought we was gonna go there. It was already gonna be ready for us. We're gonna go to the garage, put that joint on the car, roll it to the van, slide it in the van, put the straps down, and slide. But that did not happen because that dude had way too much stuff in his garage. But when we got to the drop off, everything went smooth, and huge shout out to the customer. He helped us out, and he gave us uh, 20, uh, 40. We get into this money, don't ignore me. We are getting to this money. So for that order, we made $180 and it literally took us an hour and 30 minutes on the head. We went out there and got to that bread. Now, let's talk about this. How are you gonna make the most money using your cargo van or sprinter van or box truck? Number one, gig apps. It's not gonna be gig apps. A gig app is kind of honestly an in-between thing. I just do it, the gig apps, just so you guys can know what you need to do to go out there and get that money like it ain't funny. Number two, you can go over the road. Now, I know everybody always want to do some over the road. Everybody. Everybody see that money on that over the road stuff, and they want to go OTR. I'm about to go get my, I'm about to get to the van. I'm about to go over the road. It's going to be sweet. All I got to do is pick up the stuff. I ain't going to have to carry nothing. I ain't got to do nothing. It's going to be, they're going to unload it, and they're going to load it. And guess what? It is not what you think it is. I'm going to tell you right now. It is not sweet. I know you think you're just going to be driving all that. 
It is not sweet. I told y'all this before, but I did my first little experience driving to St. Louis and back home. It is not sweet. You're looking at that road for all them hours. You think it's a game, but guess what? I'm telling you right now, it is not. So, also, a lot of things that people don't think about is the gas. How much gas are you going to be wasting? You're going to be using so much money on gas, it's going to be crazy. So, you're not going to make money. You're not going to make as much money as you may think you are. So, if you think you're about to make $1,000, you're not. You got to fill up the tank three times. Think about that. And you're going to be going from home. And if you don't plan on sleeping in your vehicle or your van or your box truck or something, you're going to have to buy hotels. They're going to pick up. That's going to cost more money. And you got to pay. You got to buy food. So it's a lot that you got to think about. Now, how will you make the most money with your cargo van, Sprinter van, and box truck? And that is moving. As you guys just saw, we just made $140, $180 an hour and a half. And that's not even the price that we should have gotten. If we would have charged this person ourselves for this, we would charge them way more, but Dolly had to get their cut. Now, I know that a lot of people are gonna say, how do I find out about pricing? It really depends on your market. Now, what I do to find out what a good price to charge a customer is, I go right on a Dolly website and I put in everything in there. So I find out how much Dolly really makes on us on these orders. So all I gotta do is charge a little bit less than what Dolly is charging and they won't come to me every time. So. That's the way that you're gonna make the most money with your cargo van, sprinter van, or box truck. And I wanna tell you this right now. I told you these guys this before. The place you wanna go is to mark the mentor channel. I'm telling you right now, this is where you wanna go. He did move and he had 15 box trucks. He was doing a lot of moving and all that stuff. So if you wanna learn about moving and box truck content and cargo van content and how to make a lot of money using those vehicles, you might want to go to his channel. I ain't going to tell y'all no more. I love when y'all watch us go out there and uh, let's go and get that dough. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, before we go, make sure you smash that subscribe button to earn your chance to win some of that $1,000. But it's time for us to go so we can pop our collar. I'll see you guys on the next one. We going, we going, we flowing. You already know it's DDK, and I'm on my way.